one heel against the wall until the early hours between his breath he's watching for and we sorted for some tyres some Michelin anarchies the round the black the rubber they'll do the job won't they anyway we're nipping out today gotta go and get face Christmas cards printed. Well, they are printed, they're printed, we're picking them up today. Now, if you've seen any of the other videos or you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or any other, Instagram, we're on there, we're on all three of them if you want to follow us. As I said, it passed, it's only a bit of fun, not too serious. Uh, little girl did that, not whether you can make it out there, it does light up. There's a bread knife, she's getting dressed, she's just trying to breathe in and fit into her pants. She would have said cheeky bass, you would put you on the camera. Sophia knows where it is, she's holding it now. We've actually lost the sat nav for the bike. No big deal. But yeah, we're picking them up today. They've printed them off. They're the ones from last year, Mr. Rossi. Now, if anybody wants any of these, we're doing them just for cost price. Uh, free postage, cost price, not costing anything. You get three cards, you get one of each design. There's some of Rossi, and we'll show you the others in a bit, the adventure bike ones. Uh, there is, what is it? There's a KTM 1290R, Africa Twin, and a BMW GS rally. But yeah, so we won't pick them up now. And we'll get the job done. We will get the job done. So we'll speak to you in a bit, folks. Well, folks, I've got to hold my hands up, drop to bollock. Proper drop to bollock. Done the Aston tour, or some cracking footage and that. Uh, or. I should say, we had some cracking footage. Basically, went out the other week, when as soon as we got this GS, went out for a mooch, and rushing about last minute, through SD cards, in cameras, both cameras, big camera, formatted them all as you do, and then fair, come down, you've not used that card there, have you? I went, yeah, it's in the, uh, it's in the drift. Why? That was the one with all the ass and footage on. Oops. So, gutted, absolutely gutted, no ass and footage. But, what can you do? What can you do? As they said, it is what it is. Uh, some people were asking about this GS, but they've been one of the old old ones, the old Hercule, eight valve job. Uh, people keep saying about doing a walk round and all that. So folks, we're just saying, yeah, it's only got 100 horsepower, but it's not horsepower. I know I'm t teaching or telling you some of you how to suck eggs, I don't mean that. Uh, anybody that's into big bikes and knows about it, it's not about horsepower, it's about torque. Torque's this, we're two up now, third gear, hardly any revs. Pulls like a train. You don't need more than that. I'm not bothered what anyone says, you don't need more than that. You can have more, and it, sometimes it's good having more, but you don't need any more than that. That just rocketed off then. And that's two up on a big GS that's only got... 100 horsepower, so they say. But it's got bucket loads of torque from nothing. So, just get that out there, because people keep going on about it. Oh, the new one's got 135. Oh, the Ducati's got 160. Oh, this has got 100. Oh, whatever. Yeah, it's great having it at times. As we've as I said, we've rode the XR. We've had the XR on a demo. And it is, it's a rocket ship. But in the times where you need it, this is more than adequate. There's that word again, adequate. It is, though. It really is. Obviously, like you say, 120 mile hour, this is out of juice then, but when you tip up with luggage, do you want to be doing much more than that? Well, there you are, folks. <coughs> 90 mile an hour. In no time. It's like, honestly, do you really need to get there any quicker than that? Really. Honestly. Yeah, folks, so we're going to pick in the, uh, the Christmas cards that were first drawn. Now, of all three designs, like I say, if you get a pack of them, there's one of each design in it. So there's three, obviously three different cards. And there's only 100 of each one getting made, the proper limited edition jobs. So if anybody's interested, uh, as you see, the email's at the bottom of the screen. You just throw us an email and you know, we can have a chat about it or whatever. But yeah, we're picking all you said they're ready today. Uh, the design is showed us, because obviously on the back he's put our logo on, on the back and all the rest of it. So... We're hoping it's all turned out right. Anyway, as soon as we get there, we'll uh, we'll show you what's what. Oh, we just thought we'd have half an hour out on bike because it's it's half term this week, so with her being a teacher, she's off, and with me being self-employed, this is the good part of it. You can do this. 
I have been on the course for a couple of days. Uh, we've got a test on Saturday, Saturday morning, half past ten. So fingers crossed that'll be all right. I paid attention in the classes as you do, swatted up, took the feature an apple. You know what I mean? He said if you take him a big bottle of whiskey, it's a guaranteed pass, but I don't know, you know what I mean? That's a joke, that in case you're watching. Oh well, yeah, let's, uh, let's go and get these cards and we'll see if they're suitable or satisfactory. Or adequate, even. Wig Island, folks. It's great. You can buy a wig, though. If you're follically challenged. Hey, I remembered it. <laughs> I remembered it. Look at these here, dogging. Oh, hey, come on, pal. You are mad. Musical mountain biking down here, folks. You know what? <laughs> we could probably fit through them gaps, you know, and go down bike trails. Might be worth that one night. Come down with lights on. Oh, was this Doggy Dacre? There now, we're taking some pictures. Is it like? It's alright, it's, um, it's a bird viewing. Sanctuary. Something like that. Wig Island Car Park. Anyway, folks, some people have asked for a bit of a walk around on uh, on Carroll. Now, obviously, we got this bike off Big Graham. Uh, he got it, and just through circumstance, didn't manage to use it so much. So, uh, we, we acquired it off him. We acquired it. Now, it's the. Uh, the Mark II, still the 8 valve engine, but it's the Mark II. They sort of cleared up a few problems, and this was one of the special edition ones. Only a few silly things on it, colour at seats. Uh, and the, there were just bits and bobs they've changed on it. The fuel gauge actually works on these. The one, I don't know if you remember, the GS that we had, the Adventure that we had. We had uh, problems with fuel gauge, and it, it is known for them, but this one seems fine. But anyway, it's got the LGS headlight covered on it. I don't even know how you pronounce that, the Pwig, Pug, Pidge, Pudge, whatever, it's that. <laughs> got the MRA screen on it. And guards, whoever's had it fit has got the spot lamps on it. Now I think that was part of the special edition features that, that they put the proper BMW spotlights on, which do work a treat. Now the difference over this from the old one, LED indicators and LED backlight. Somebody's put a shock protector, Mayer, 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 USA, a shock protector, which obviously protects the shock, obviously. The engine bars on it, if you drop it, which a lot of people with GSs do. We've got a mudguard extender up front, because as people who know have got these, that is one of the points on a GS which suffer a bit. Doesn't cause any problem, it just looks a bit tatter. Sort of set fork protectors on, because they do suffer with stone chips quite bad. Uh, can't think of anything else. Obviously, it's got uh, full Verio luggage, which extends up and down. I don't know whether anybody's seen that. I'll just try and have a quick show you. Might need me a uh, glamorous assistant to help here when she's finished asking the box. I'm emailing the printers. She's emailing the printers, apparently. What would you like? I want you to set that out of there. Okay, so yeah, one. each of the three boxes come with this bar. Like that. So that's the box as you can get it. All the side boxes do it as well, all of them, all two of them. Yeah, they do it as well. So you can extend them, something like that. And it does that. It makes the box really twice the size. Now both sides do that, so it's, it is handy if you're carrying enough luggage, but not too much. So you can have the bike a bit narrower, which, uh, which it helps, doesn't it? It helps. But yeah, a valve engine, about 100 horsepower. It's plenty. Adjustable screen, obviously you can't do it on the fly, but 
to be honest, every time I get a screen, I set it where it is and just leave it. I've never actually touched it or made it bigger. Sport wheels, as I said, we just had new tyres put on. Thanks, Barry, top man. I think that's about it. That's about it. This obviously is the one with adjustable suspension. Spotlights on and off. ABS. ESA. Everything works up to what? Heated grips. As I said, everything works up to now. Oh, two stage heated grips, I should say. The old right indicator, left indicator cancel. <laughs> Why they do that, I'll never know. You do get used to it though, and it does actually become like like second nature. It does take a while to get used to, but it does it does become second nature. But yeah, that's about us. We made up with it. Runs like a dream, smooth as silk. Well, as smooth as silk as a box of twin can be. But yeah, smooth as silk. So let's go and get these cards now. Show you what they look like, and we'll get back. And we'll have a proper chat about it. Well, anyway, so we get back on bike. See you in a bit. Bye. Well, folks, that's the old swing bridge, the old key swing bridge, the old Manchester Ship Canal. The new Mersey Gateway, folks, over here all the time, but oh, it's causing some bloody controversy. Everybody whinging about paying and that because. It's always been free with Runcorn Bridge, which they're now refurbing. As I said, this uh, what a nightmare this. It's free for motorbikes, what all right, but eight quid for a bus or anything over 12 tonne, eight quid for come over here. And then obviously eight quid back, so if you live in St. Tellings, which is just down the road, and you're delivering just over into Runcorn, it's 16 quid on top of your fuel and everything. It's just, it's, it's outrageous, proper outrageous. Well, nearly at the Prince's now, folks. Just here on right hand side. Faye was trying to tell me where it was. I've been here about 10 times for her in the past, and she's telling me where it is. Honestly, she's been once. Oh, yeah, no, he done, he done a good job last time. He, he's, he's printed a few of the, the bigger pictures off for us. So we might start using them again. We used a local one last time, and uh, the quality wasn't quite as good. Don't get me wrong, it was, it was, it was good enough. But you know what I mean when you. When you want it to be right, don't you? The Prince and Copy Centre. No, the quality here is quite, quite decent. The quality here is quite decent. Folks, they're all right, aren't they? They're tremendous, well made up with them. Well, we'll have a proper look when we get home. Uh, we're not going to be We're going to get past the boundary garage near us now. Now, he's, he's doing us some stickers. And uh, don't get, we're not bombarding you for value. Let's say we don't, we're not making any money on anything we sell. It's just a bit of promotional stuff for Faze artwork and that. Uh, 
And a fella we know at Boundary Garage is going to run us some stickers off. For anyone who wants one of them. Just throw us an email. It's at the bottom. stinsley41 at gmail.com. Just throw us that. That's just our, our email for this. Here we are, folks. Our printers. I've always used this place for outdo with stickers. Like, listen to zip over before it comes. Boundary Garage. They are quite famous for the... Uh, for the wraps for cars and stuff like that. But Faye's not been here yet, so we're going to see Ian and see what the crack is, see what he can do for us. Bounty car care, folks. Let's go see if Ian's about. We all right, buddy? Is Ian about? It is, yeah. So it's got a uh, tins on tour, you can either have that in white or red, and then the uh, all black, and the tins on tour logo at the side of it. You know, if anybody wants one of them, like I said, just go on the email, throw us a, throw us a quick message through, and we'll sort some of out. Oh, be careful, well. <laughs> they might put a stake in you, they think you're frightening, <laughs> you're a witch, <laughs> you've no chance they'll kick you out here, love. You've not a chance. Crack a small weed. How long's he been waiting for the drink? Hey oh, babe. How long's he been waiting? How long's he been waiting? Oh, God. It's wasted, isn't it? It's wasted on you. It's wasted on you, me humour. Never mind, folks. Oh, the hell can all this? Doing the best. Anyway, Spitting Feathers, get a drink. And it can sound, folks. Faye just said, does she look okay? Oh, you gotta give me an answer, do I? <laughs> You're adequate. No, today's 24th, so it'll be at Grindleford or Grindleford or whatever you want to call it on 28th, if anyone fancies it. Probably get there about 10-ish, I would have thought. Weather being okay, it does look alright, maybe a bit chilly, but I think it's probably time for linings back in jackets. So, yeah, we're going to have a pint and then we're going to nip back home and sort stuff out, get this edited, get it up. And I'll look at these cards and all the rest of it. So, if we don't speak to you before that... We'll see you soon, or we'll see you on Sunday, or we'll see you whenever. But anyway, if you want out, look at the email underneath, stinsley41 at gmail.com. Send us a message about out, and we'll uh, we'll sort something out, folks. So, I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye, Bye now. Bye.